Hey everyone. So today I want to tackle the biggest question and the most popular question and the most overwhelming question that someone will ask and will make you paralyze and stop, and stop on your tracks. And that is, what's your story? And immediately the first thought in your mind is, oh my God, do you have all day? Because have a seat. If you're like me, that you always have something to say. If you have never had to tell your story to someone, then I'm going to help you break it down. And today we're going to start by just thinking about what's your story, answering that question. And nobody can tell your story better than you because nobody knows you better than you. Nobody knows what makes you laugh. Nobody knows what makes you cry. Nobody knows what is that thing that you've always wanted to accomplish. Yet the only one that knows that is you. So one of the ways and one of the reasons why I find it powerful that I love this journey is because it has taught me to stop and reflect and understand and analyze who am I, what's my story, what makes me tick, what makes me who I am. Okay, so I have a piece of paper and it's blank. And in my mind, I'm answering the question, what's my story? So my story starts with Unidis, right? So I am Unidis and I was born by um, my parents. So I have a mom and a dad. And your story may be different because you may have grown up in a single parent home or you may have been raised by your grandmother, not by your parents. That's my story. My story is I was, I was raised by my mother and my dad, and I was born in New York, but I am Latina in the sense because my parents are Dominican and we moved to the Dominican Republic five years, and I lived there for five years. So that impacts my story. That's who I am. Then I am a middle child. Yep, that's why I'm weird. I'm the middle child. I am one of two siblings, my older brother and my younger sister. What are you? Are you the baby of the family? Are you the oldest of the family? Because that's going to make an impact on your story. I, um, I also, growing up, if I'm going to start by the beginning of me, I was a very funny, happy person. I'm always the one that made sure that everything was a party in my house. I've been very creative since I was young. Um, so I have that as Unidis. That's my story. I find reasons to laugh because I believe that laughter is important. Um, growing up, music was big on my, my family. So I am an avid music lover. I love merengue. I love dancing and being the life of the party. That's what I am. That describes who Unidis is. Then I went to Catholic school for a period of my childhood. Then I went to an evangelical school in Dominican Republic. And then I came to New York and I went to public school. So all of that is part of my story. Um, I went to college I went to Queens College and then I went to Fairfield University. Um, I did at Delphi University for an accelerated program. Oh, but that's also part of my story. The accelerated program, going to college, a college graduate, that's part of my story. I fell in love with the man of my dreams. I married the man of my dreams. He was not part of my father's um, dream for me, so I had to fight for my love. So, oh, that's part of my story. I'm a fighter. I've had to determine what is it that Unidis wants and go after what Unidis wants. Um, I am a mom. Well, let me go back a little bit before being a mom. So I am very grounded on my faith and it started at the age of 18. So I've been very involved in my faith and in church and, and in lots of different um, environments where I've had to lead. And that's because I started going to church and participating in retreats. And then that led me to being le a leader for the youth and actually deciding to establish a youth group in my church community as a teenager. So I am pretty um, determined 
to do something in my community and my surroundings and i and if i have an idea i'm like why not and that has happened since i'm young um so i'm very grounded on my faith and i truly believe that god has a purpose in my life so faith is part of unity's faith is part of my story um i am married to my sweetheart and we've been married for 18 years it hasn't all been colored roses because if you've been married you know it takes work it takes hard work and that's my story as a wife i have lots of stories um i'm a mom i am a mom of two wonderful children i have a special needs boy who was given to me as a gift god decided that he belonged in my home so that i can care for him it has been a challenge because as an educator um i've had to learn how to accept the fact that i can't change the reality which is he has special needs he learns differently he needs different skills so i've had to fight for him as well. I've been an advocate for my son. I stood against certain programs that have been recommended for him because I look for his best interest at hand. So again, see the common thread here? Fighter. I'm coming in as a fighter. I don't give up easily. I have my own opinion. That's my story. I'm also the mom of a beautiful young girl. She's 9 years old now and she keeps me on my toes. She's very savvy in her mouth. She's very um strong-minded. She's strong-willed. She's going to be an amazing leader one day and I see a lot of me in her which helps me step back and let her be. So my daughter also has difficulties in school and she also has special learning needs so my two children have been given to me as beautiful gifts but to challenge me to become a better mom right so special education it's part of my story education it's part of my story um then if we go into my lifestyle i i am a stay at home mom but before this i was a full time teacher all i all my life the only two things i know how to do is teach and be a stay at home mom i've never taken another job because since the age of 16 i started to work as an assistant teacher and since then i became a teacher and then when i stopped being a teacher i stayed home and what i do is i'm a virtual fitness coach that's my story now there's a story within the story and the story comes to say that as an educator i became overwhelmed and overworked and stressed and i became an own and i'm not i didn't become an emotional eater i was an emotional eater and as a matter as a result of emotional eating i gained weight and i gained lots of it i gained 50 pounds that needed to come off and that's where telling my story found its purpose cuz i wouldn't tell my big overweight story to anyone because who wants to know that but now people want to know how is it that i went from being 50 pounds overweight to being at my goal weight how is it that i turned emotional eating into healthy eating so now instead of eating for satisfying satisfying my depression or my sadness or my happiness i eat to fuel my body and people want to know how is it that i went from step from point a to point b that's my story um and now i have a stage because i use tools to help me share that story i know that i have changed my lifestyle through my fitness program i know that i have changed my lifestyle through my shakeology through my supplements to, through my meals and i know i have changed my lifestyle through the support that i have gained so that also means that part of my story is that i'm part of a community i am a team player i thrive when i'm surrounded with people i i love it when i have um an influential circle of friends that inspire me i like to be surrounded by people who are constantly seeking change and constantly seeking to improve that's my story so i want you today right now to take out a piece of paper right and i can go on and on and on about my story and just list down the things that make you who you are right now today 
Don't wait till tomorrow to figure out what your story is. Get started on your story now. Speak about who you are and what makes you you because there's a story inside of that. All right, be blessed and don't forget, I want to know your story. So comment below, share in the comments and let me see your story. Who are you? What's your message?